Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, an interesting uh, thing that we can do with some woodwind instruments. This is a trombone, not a woodwind. And what I'd like to talk about is muting. This is a mute. This is a straight mute what we would call a fiber mute, uh, specifically this is a Humsenberg, what we call stone line. And how a mute works is you put it into the bell of a brass instrument and it stops up some of the sound. 100% of the sound of a brass instrument comes out of the bell. It's not like that on woodwinds, but let's talk about brass for just a second. So to mute the sound, we just place this in the bell, like so and it blocks some of the sound. To give you an idea, and forgive me, I am not a brass player, this is the sound of an open trombone. And this is the sound of a muted trombone. And you can hear the sound gets softer and it also changes timbre. The timbre becomes buzzier, it becomes a little bit harsher, and that's what the mute in a brass instrument does. Now let's take a look at a woodwind instrument. I've got my bassoon here. Over the years, uh, as a bassoonist, I've had lots of passages where I'd, I'd say, man, I really wish I could make, have a way to make this instrument softer to blend in. And there are a few ways of doing it. The easiest way, and the way you'll see done sometimes in orchestras, is a player is going to take uh, something, a handkerchief or the swab or an old gym sock or something, and stick it in the belt. And what that does is it blocks up some of the sound escaping from the bell. But remember, on a woodwind instrument, only a fraction of the sound comes out of the bell. We've got holes perforated throughout the instrument that let the sound escape. So the mute will not work the same on a woodwind instrument as it will on a brass. What I have is this. This is a mute that I made, uh, turned it some years ago, uh, put some felt on it, and it fits really snugly into the bell of the bassoon. And because of the shape, you can't even really tell it's there unless you're really looking at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a B flat scale uh, a couple octaves, and I'll play it open first. Now I'll play the same thing with the mute in. Oh dear. I can't play the low B flat. That's the first thing. With a mute in a woodwind instrument like this, the low note, the lowest note of the instrument disappears. It's gone. I can't play that. Can I play the second lowest note, the low B? Not really, but that's kind of a cool effect. Let me do that again. Contemporary. Can I play the low C? Yes, I can. So, here's the, the rest of the B major, B flat major scale, starting on C. So it really cuts out the harmonics on the very upper end of the spectrum. It, lo it softens the volume. But the thing it also does is it changes the resonance of the instrument. And so some of the notes are going to be out of tune. If you listen, I'm going to play that again. You'll notice a few of the notes are out of tune. A good player can adjust that in a performance, particularly if there are other notes to balance it off of. mute on the bassoon. Oboe players will do something similar. Uh, they'll stick something up into the bell, usually something like their swab. Now, 
Let's talk clarinet really quickly. So this is my B flat clarinet. And we don't really need to mute clarinets because clarinets can play infinitely soft. But there are a few ways to do it. This right here is a little drawstring bag that I just happen to have lying around. Hector Berlioz in his Lelio, which is the sequel to uh, Symphony Fantastique, not a lot of people know about that piece, uh, actually requested that the clarinet player put a bag around the bell, just like I've done there. And this was supposed to mute the instrument. Now without. This bag doesn't do a lot, but what I can do with it, this is what some bassoon and oboe players will do is I can put it in the bell. Let's see if this changes anything. And you can see it does block out some of the sound. But on clarinet, it doesn't have a lot of practical applications. Next, let's go to saxophone. The saxophone right now is kind of interesting for me because a couple weeks ago I was just doing some surfing on the eBay and I found this thing marketed as a saxophone mute. Now it looks kind of like a, a plunger mute for a trumpet or a trombone. And what it is, it's a piece of aluminum turned with a piece of felt on it and it fits right into the bell, just like that. It sits there and it's kind of like my bassoon mute that I made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play C major scale on alto sax, two octaves, and open, and then I'll put in the mute. Now with the mute. and it very effectively mutes the saxophone. In fact, I can actually see using something like this in scoring. I, in fact, have a part in Forest of Dreams where I'm very seriously considering writing Consort, which is the, the marking for muted, and the saxophone part. Now, this is the alto saxophone one. Do they come in other sizes? Well, it just so happens they do. When I ordered the alto saxophone one, I also got one for soprano sax. So, a little bit smaller here. And so, it fits exactly like the alto sax one into the soprano sax bell. And yes, if you have a straight soprano, this will fit in snugly enough that it, you won't have to worry about it falling out. So, here's the same C major scale on soprano two octaves, open, and then muted. And now with the mute. And it works pretty effectively. So will this fit on something like the Sopranino sax? And the answer is no, it won't fit in here. The alto saxophone one will not fit in a tenor, but it will, however, fit into my C melody sax. I do have a tenor mute coming that I ordered last night. These are really cheap. On eBay I got these, this was like under four bucks, the alto one was four dollars and something. Super, super cheap and actually really effective and kind of a cool little gimmick or toy. 
Now, I, I said, will this work on uh, the soprano or sopranino sax? And the answer, of course, is no. But what it will work on, oddly enough, is the alto clarinet. So it fits right into the bell here. And while the muting on the B flat clarinet was not very effective, turns out the muting on the alto clarinet is pretty highly effective. So F major scale without. <laughs> bonus, I can actually play the lowest note on here with this. This is kind of odd. So the, the low E flat sounds quite nicely with the mute in. So there you go. That's woodwind mutes. Kind of a, an interesting thing. Historically they've been around probably since the 1700s and some guys, but possibly something we could use in our uh, scoring. So let me know if you've ever had an instance to use a mute in a woodwind part. I'd be interested to know. Um, I know oboes have. I don't know if flutes have ever had any kind of a muting device. So let me know in the comments below what you think.